Alright guys, welcome back, and we just defeated Poison Ivy, and now we're able to go and fight the Joker if we really want to, which, to be honest, I don't. This is going to be one hella episode because I'm collecting all the collectibles, so there's going to be long periods of me just not saying anything, and for that, you're welcome. So, this is going to mean me going around all the other areas in the game where there's not, well, there's still stuff to be collected with all the gadgets. And now that the plants are gone from blocking everywhere, I can get everything. So, sit back and have fun, I suppose. And if you don't want to watch it, I don't blame you. I'm trying to remember if there's any, um, like really difficult to find ones. Oh shit, hello. If there's really difficult to find collectibles or riddles or anything like that, but I honestly don't remember. And they're gonna be on the map anyway, like if you just really get stuck just check your own map and have a look. I'm trying to think what I'm missing here, it's nothing that much like, oh, of course I missed that. I always hated those ones as well because they never cause you any real damage, they're just annoying for being there. I think I'm collecting teeth or something here, I don't remember, it's been that long since I've done this. Ah uh, yes, I have to pull the wall down in here and get the last one before you go to the back caves and stuff. There'll be a lot of it in detective mode as well because of the sh stupid walls like that that you need to see. Of course you jump off that ledge, well done Batman. Okay, that's where you've got to go to face the Joker, but we won't be going there for a while yet. Just the teeth left to collect. Huh. The most annoying part of this. I wasn't sure when I started this whether I wanted to get all the um, the teeth or not, but I might as well. They're annoying, but once you get them, there's a sense of satisfaction that you've broke them. What? See? Them Not allowed in there, so up we go. This is probably my most hated part. Even more than Killer Croc, it's just ridiculously long this and I should have split it up into two but it's tough you getting it all in one. But I do know that the next part is really short because it's a quick fight against the Joker, the final boss. Oh, there's so many collectibles to annoy me here. But anyway, onward. I don't go the wrong way there, Batman. It's just wrong. I think I make a mistake in here. Well, you just go around and I go around it twice for some reason. I think I go the wrong way. Right at the start of the game, when you're first at this, first, first, and first, and it's not a word. First escape from. Wow, oh, what's this place called intensive treatment. You see that wall and you can't do anything about it. How annoying. I forgot to get this one. Open slowly door, thanks. 
I forgot to get this one the first time I came down here when we got attacked by the Scarecrow for the final time. Now oh, that was easy. Those uh, security door things annoy me in um, Arkham City because you're supposed to be able to unlock them straight away, but you can't. Because you have all your gadgets from the previous, well, most of your gadgets from the previous game, but yet you still can't unlock those doors. Why not? There's something in here, I just can't remember what it is. Oh, the tape. Well, I did something good there. I just don't know what it was. I'm thinking about putting an, um, an extra season on the show for this. Because I can do... Oh, like the um, challenges after it. It gives me a reason to keep playing this game because I love it oh so much. But I don't know what you think about it because... They're quite easy and they'll be short videos, it's just whether you want to see them or not. It's annoying working your way down from this as well. Because I can never quite remember what's the next part. Apart from big drops like that, they're easy. But have I gone past the area I need to go past? Because there's a wall I need to break down I think. Oh no, there isn't the sun, I need to pull off the thing, maybe. I just don't remember. So we start at the bottom and work our way up. Yep, take it off the wall. It's easy when you've got the ultra back low with the three things, the claws. Do I have to go down or can I? Yes, I can get back. Just to drop down anyway. I honestly thought there was a way out there. Why did I think that? Am I allowed down there? Yes! It's <sighs> what makes this part so annoying. If I could have come back like place by place and done it one by one it would have been so much easier like if I could have come and got everything last time I was here but that's not allowed because the Batman world says so mm -hmm. maybe I finally got it yes I can't remember why I didn't do this when we were on our way to face Killer Croc last time, because I had the opportunity. I just didn't do it. Sit. Oh, only six more to go. Well, six more of those things. Then we found out who it is. Alright, you can let me down now, please. Please. Yay! Next one's in the main area. Sometimes. Huh. So many choices. Which way do I go? Huh. Oh, that seemed a bit laggy to me then. I didn't notice it while I was playing it. Oh. Painfully opening slow doors. It's the Enigma Show! Really? Where's the TV? I want to watch it. Finally get to riddle his cell. Seriously, too small. Set what? This is the hardest riddle I've ever had to get. There we go. Load 
Ooh, it's Martha though. <sighs> yeah, that was totally normal noises. First time I played it, this one always bothered me because I could never find it. It never occurred to me to look up. But, oh well, it works now. Oh, five left. Why am I counting them down? I just don't know, but it, it gives me something to I do. Pity you trying to defeat my challenges. This one I tried to get at the start of the game, only I wasn't allowed to get it because I hadn't unlocked the riddles, which I find strange. Should have been allowed to go back and get it again, but no. If anybody knows why those doors open that way, hopefully this leads me back into it, but I think this is where I make the mistake of the wrong turn. If anyone knows why those doors open so slowly at certain times, I'd love to know, but it annoys me. And so does this part when I find out I can't go there. So, people, avoid this way. This was stupid of me to oh, bollocks to assume I could have done that. We get to walk all the way around again. I suppose I should edit the video to not include all this, but you know what? You're gonna learn from my mistakes. I like that it does that, like, when you've got the Ultra Backlaw, it's just one little tug. Because when you've got the normal Backlaw, no, you got to <laughs> rag it off, like, really hard. And that one's just like, pfft, done. I'm finally coming to the end of this series as well. It's been so long. Like I started this when I first joined, like when I first joined PIAV, and I got a few parts of it done, but I made a mistake and uh, we got too many copyright claims against it. I was fed up, so I decided to start again. 
There really isn't that many to do, but they're everywhere. Ah. That sounds about right for the caves. Medical treatment's got quite a few. But when I restarted it, we got no claims against it. It all turned out alright. And I finally get to finish it. Just concentrate on Alan Wake now and hopefully he's can suggest another game to him. There are some we'd like to do, like, I want to do a Jack and Daxter. Which I am going to do as soon as I'm able to. I just need to buy a little converter for me capture card because my new TV doesn't have component cables, like an input for them. So I've got to convert to the HDMI slots. But I need to buy something to do that. And I haven't got the money at the minute. But when I finally do that, it'll enable me to play all my Xbox games, all my PS3 games. Just for the channel, I'm able to do it then. And I, I know uh, Dan's talking about doing some Call of Duty like videos for the channel, which we really want to do. Because we've started getting, well, I say we, uh, me, have started getting better at it. Because I only started the week before Modern Warfare 3 came out. It was the first time I started playing card online because I just wasn't interested beforehand. I was always like, I'm a single player type of player. I like those sort of games where I can just do everything on my own. But since I've started playing COD and Battlefield, it's just so much fun. Particularly when I got better at it. Like, uh, Modern Warfare, like, when we played Black Ops, it was just that Dan wanted to prestige one final time before Modern Warfare 3 came out. So I thought, yeah, I'll help with that. And I really got into it. I prestiged myself in that weekend. And ever since then, I've been hooked. Um, it took me so long to get into like a positive KDR, like on Black Ops, and I haven't even done it yet. Like I am miles behind on my KDR. I think I'm 0.6 or something. But on uh, Modern Warfare 3, it took me until 14,000 kills for me to break even. It was like the proudest achievement I've had since I finished. Um, oh, what was the game called? Uh, it was a FIFA game, I think it was Road to the World Cup or the FIFA World Cup where you had to do the challenges and it gave you 500 points if you'd done it. You know, let me out. Eee, let me out. Where you get 500 points, uh, like the Xbox achievement points for finishing one of the achievements. It was the hardest achievement I've ever got. And it was like my proudest gamer moment ever. Which was crap because it was a FIFA game. I hate FIFA. Well, I hate EA. Ah, oh, wrong turn. That's the thing is, I say I hate EA. I've got to get out somewhere. Where is the exit? I say I hate EA, but I'd still buy a lot of their games. Like, I will buy Madden every year. I'll buy Madden, but I won't buy FIFA just out of some weird principle of mine I'll buy uh, Godfather games which have oh, got to be some of my favourite games ever I'd probably buy Mass Effect but I won't well I say I'd probably buy a bought Mass Effect games but I haven't got three yet I will get it when it comes out actually no I won't, I haven't got the money but I will get it eventually I'm done with this area, aren't I? I've been here before. Off to the sewers. Where Batman belongs, I suppose. No. That's not right. Up one more level. Oh, I could have went up there. But anyway, back to the point that I started out with, what would you think about us doing some Call of Duty videos, because we've got one set to go, it was meant to be when we got our thousand subscriber, which we got a few weeks ago, only 
we had a load of dead subs taken off, like people who don't use the accounts anymore were just taken out of the system. So we went above a thousand and then we dropped below it again. And we've made it back over a thousand again, it's just... We haven't quite had the time to put it up yet. But it's a really good one from uh, Bez. But there's another one I want to do because uh, it was so funny. It was like I was gutted when it happened. I played a map on Fallen, like a, on Modern Warfare 3, and I finally made it to my first Moab because I'd always got one away. But I finally made it to my Moab, and the ta like the match finished before it had time to go off. I was, I was gutted. I was so close yet so far, and I haven't even had a sniff of it yet since it happened. Oh, I'm finally able to take that down. Uh, I can't wait to get the bot lad. Getting closer and closer, but I will let it go off once. I felt horrible enough because I knew it was there. The fallen one was annoying to me as well because I watched it back and I realised I was camping everywhere and like. I say everywhere, just in one building. I was protecting it by myself, and it's just... I hate players who do that. Haha, <laughs> I get you too now. I did not cheat, I did not look them up on the internet, mostly because I'm better than you. But I, I just don't like cheating like that. Checking it out on the internet is just weird when I know every single place. I like helping people out with it, so you're welcome. But when I've played it, uh, how many times? I've come. Twice there, twice there, twice there, once here. I'm on like seven or eight playthroughs through this. I I've done it. I know everything about this game now. Yet I don't know where I'm going right now. There's got to be something here. Where am I going? Check the map, me. Like, past me. Please check the map. Where am I going? Am I allowed out through here? Oh god, it's gonna put me back in intensive treatment. I've just realised I knew I made that stupid mistake. Oh, I'm so sorry, people. I'm an idiot. I assumed, assumed, I assumed, I assumed it would have let me out at medical treatment, not intensive treatment, where medical treatment's got a load of stuff I've got to collect. But nope, I dabbed it here. That was flicking about everywhere. Oh god, here. Yeah. I'll get it right eventually, people. And we're almost halfway through. Yay! think what other games we've got like coming up for us like we're doing portal but we have just like me and Dan have just finished like the main parts and we were quite surprised when we finished it because the credits come up we didn't know that was the end of it because there was one more thing we hadn't done that can only be unlocked after or I keep running into that wall there's just what like there's one more thing we can do which we found by accident but it said we have to complete everything else first so we'll be going back to that, we just don't know what it is yet. And I honestly can't wait because I love Paul so much. It's 
it's such a like a it's a two player game really when you're playing the co-op I know that's duh but you need such great teamwork with it for it to work and it does it again I hate that door But, I'm almost out yet again. Yes! Alright, now that I'm finally done with this region, I can move on. I don't know what I'm going to first though. It could be the botanical gardens, I don't know if I've anything to collect there. It could be the mansion. I don't know what's to collect there, but I know there are stuff. But I think Arkham East as a whole is done. Yeah, it looks like it's done. So it will be either the botanicals, what's in there to collect, just a couple of things, so botanical gardens it is, and all the plants are gone so whatever regions I wasn't allowed in, well most of the plants are gone apart from I think just sticking out of the stairs right there. Although they're still there. I hate Poison Ivy. The plant and the character in this game because she annoyed me so much by having all their plants get in the way. Is Poison Ivy a plant or is it a weed? I don't know. I just know it's annoying and it really itches. I heard a frog then. I think there's one when you fight the two titans, there's still something I've got to go collect up there. And through the tunnel as well, like that one right there, the vent. There's a couple of things in the decrepit room that you come out into. But I think that's it for this map. Which isn't too hard I suppose. to get up there just a trophy and two of those Arkham things like the tableaus that speak to you I don't know how scanning that makes them speak because they seem to be like at least a hundred years old so how is it possible that it speaks to me Especially since it's stone as well, you scan stone and you get an audio recording. Okay. It's over there that I've got to get to. There's one of them anyway. And then there's the wall that I've got to destroy there. Ah, oh, it let me destroy it, that's surprising. Walls are a bit harder to pull down than the air vent covers. And around we go. I'd forgotten about that yeah. one. Like, I knew I could have got that ages ago. I just forgot it was there. So, well done, me. 
Oh yeah, I forgot to mention uh, Dan started his new series on Saturday. He started his Napoleon series. Which we've wanted to do because we want to create a show for it. Because we've got Empire, we've got Shogun, and we're going to have Fall of the Samurai as well, which I really can't wait for. Because I, I don't know what it entails yet. I know you can go like the Imperial Nations. I just don't know what I can do with them. Uh, we seen like the video for it the other day. Alright, where's the entrance to here? Oh, it's below me. Well done. And fall down again. We saw a video for it the other day, me and Dan, and we were amazed at like the things you're allowed to do. But to actually do them is going to be a different story, I think. How many have we got left now? Is it three or two after this? Are we starting to get an idea of who this... Arkham fellow is other than the crazy old fool that we seen earlier three left. Fine, let me back. Thank you. But anyway, Fall of the Samurai is going to be a really fun campaign because I've started getting into the Total War games. I've had them for such a long time, apart from Shogun 2, which I haven't bought. I'm using someone else's account to play. But it's basically my account anyway, I play all those games on that. I think next is going to be the mansion. Which I think we're making pretty good time on because there's just not that much to do in the mansion. It's medical treatment that's going to be the problem. Well, I say a problem, but it's going to be the big one because it's got everything in it. Intensive treatment was the annoying one because we went through it three times. I say we, me, I made the mistake, but we went through it three times. And... Yay, fall down. I honestly don't remember what's in the penitentiary. I think I've got almost everything except the the room that fills with gas I've got to make it across to the other side of there and that's it which I think was alright like not that far off anymore oh god these guys are back shut up and sit down There's only five things to get in here. Saw so many in there. I've got most of the teeth now, haven't I? Or I may have all the teeth. Just on there. Only two in the penitentiary, so that's not going to be too bad. But let's get the five that are in here. I remember one of them. So this could be an issue, I suppose. Oh yeah, the stupid electrified floors. I never went back for them. So I do know what I'm going for. Sort of. Maybe. Maybe not. At least there's no getting attacked by the scarecrow this time. Oh yeah, I remember the oh, still not this room. I remember the uh, end of this as well as when I try to go for the um there's an achievement to get a forty hit combo on the thing. It with the fights, like there's a load of guys standing outside the Joker's lair, as it were. And I wanna try and hit them all but I can't remember whether I made it or not. Probably not, because it's a really difficult thing to do. What the hell happened to me there? That's a weird cut. I, I really apologise for that. 
I have no idea what just happened. I think something went wrong. Oh well. Oh, those stupid plants are still about. They've seriously gone into the mansion, didn't they? They're everywhere. Although I suppose that's what happens when the ground, well, the floor below those stairs back there was covered in some sort of red mist. Wasn't allowed to touch it. Haha, <laughs> I have to take down this wall. This is the only one I remembered. When uh, Batman's trying to pull down those walls, it, you get that sense that he's trying to take a dump. There's just no other way to put it, because you get the <coughs> noise and that's it. I mean, I've got that. I think I've got three out of the five. Running so fast that the paper is forced to go up into the air in some weird way. This is the other one I remembered, actually. The electrified floor. Does your head hurt, Batman? Understandable. You're no match for me. I am. You're about to find out how much I am. And I'm finally allowed to stop the electrified flow. one as well because I knew there was one in there I just forgot how to get it in there yeah that's right because there was another one at the other end where there was a there I don't think it was a trophy I think it was an interview tape but I just forgot about it I think that's it for this area. Off to the medical treatment. Maybe. Or the penitentiary. Only one way to find out. Let's see. There's really a lot of plants here, of the freaky poison ivy variety. I may allow that this door. Yay! I think I came in the door, so why am I surprised that I can come out of it? Oh, I'm an idiot. Not allowed that way. That's weird. Do you hear that sound as if it hit someone? Oh, maybe in the fireworks. I don't know how Batman hitting someone sounds like fireworks, but it does.
sure I've got everything here, and I've just realised there are no more teeth to collect. Happy days. I completely forgot to get this one. Could have had it ages ago. That wire stretched a long, long way, didn't it? Front door style. You know, because we beat up everyone to a certain extent. That we should be able to just walk in the front door. Plus it means I can get this tape and I can get the uh, thing on the wall over there. For some reason it's too small. Really? I'm a bit confused as to why this equates to Albert. But it does. Albert. It wasn't Albert at all. It was Alfred. Who's the f***s Al Albert? I don't remember any Albert in Batman. Only two left now. And there's still loads to get here. Oh yeah, I forgot that riddle. I'm gonna have to fix that situation. That was very silly of me to forget that riddle. It's the uh, question mark thing. Which I imagine is going to look a bit strange here, because since I've put the explosion on that side of it. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to see it all, but yet I still can. How quirky. Yeah. I know there's a few in each Welcome one of these. Asylum. Our staff are here to help you. I'm sure when they are. Amadeus Arkham built this fine institution. You would have believed it could be the premier psychiatric evaluation and rehabilitation. Isn't the Joker's Everyone knows the stories of the recordings so here anymore? Couldn't think of the words that to say there. Isn't the Joker's recordings taken over anymore? Instead, it switches back to what it used to be, which for some reason goes into a medical facility. Why are you spouting off the history of the place in a place that's not even a museum? Hmm. Oh, we're so close now. Didn't think it'd let me jump that. But why didn't it give me the option to do that? It's so close, look, he's just, there's his shadow. It's so close. Just one more to go. Who do you think it is, guys, before it comes up? Who do you think it is? When Amadeus Arkham built this fine institution, yeah, we heard this before. Everyone knows the stories of the various so called super criminals who've been treated here, but that is only half the story. Our low security wings offer normal but troubled individuals a safe haven for I thought I would have got this one as well, but I suppose not. I think there's a trophy in that vent somewhere, I just haven't reached it yet. I think it's a trophy here, I can't quite remember because there's another riddle out there that we got pretty early on and easily. Was a uh, was it the character Hush? Maybe? I, I can't quite remember. Oh god, this thing again. Shut up, please. Have you seen the look of this place? It's so grotty and horrible. How could anyone want to go there as a first choice?
How did they all get here? Oh, not allowed to get back up over there. Me, 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 me. What is the left to do? Oh, there's loads down there, isn't there? No, there's only a couple, but enough to annoy me. Because I gotta work my way back out again. Then. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. Our staff are here to help you. When Amadeus Arkham built this fine institution, he didn't realize how annoying that would be. Premier Psychiatric Evaluation and Rehabilitation Center to become. Everyone knows the stories of the various so called super criminals who've been treated here, but that is only half the story. Our I think it's because I'm not allowed down the uh, thingies at the minute, the lift. Have to work our way down normally. But not in here. In the other vent that I've got to take off the wall, there it is. Love kicking that because it just takes off. Very weirdly, all on its own. Huh, that's not the way down. Keep falling. Aha! Way out. Don't know why I kicked open that, even though I had to come here first. It, in case you didn't realise, it's a, it's the head on the desk of that one. But you don't really need to concentrate that much, just have it near it and it'll be fine. I think you were playing here. Like me and Dan and others were playing Payday the Heist the other day. It has got to be. It's a really fun game, but at the same time, it'll get really boring quickly because it requires a lot of teamwork. It's a lot like Left 4 Dead in that sense, I think. But it's annoyingly hard. How am I meant to get in there? Seriously, how do I unlock that? Ah, not allowed to like turn the corner or anything. See, so gotta get to there. Ah, well, makes it so much easier. But anyway, Payday the Heist, it's a really fun game, requires teamwork a lot like Left 4 Dead. But it is unbelievably hard, it's a proper indie game in that sense. Is that... You can, like, easy was difficult, I thought. We played the first level we ever done was on easy because I'm not used to keyboard and mouse gaming. I'm usually a controller guy and I don't know how to get the control to work on that game so it took me a little getting used to. But then we actually played it for a bit, I got better at it, it was fine. But once we switched up to normal on certain levels it was really really hard. Like we could do some of them but not all of them. There's one that we, we tried it on normal twice. One with two players, one with three players, stuff like that. I can't remember what it's called, but you're running on a street and it is like you get double crossed and you gotta chase after the guy who double crosses you. And it is really hard. Like we get about ten minutes into the level. I get down straight away. Someone comes to rescue me, they get downed. Oh, only this one left in here. They're done. Just the penitentiary left. Oh no. Still one more left there. And I think that could be the last one, if I remember right.
trying to remember what's missing here. Oh yeah, it's the one where you go. It's the interview tape where you find Bane, which you can't pick up at first. You have to wait until you come back to pick it up. The exit for this level confuses me as well. Why can't I go down into where me and Bane, or I'm Bane and I, oh, I've almost caught him. I can tell we're nearly at the end there, but um, I don't get why you can't jump into the area where you fought Bane and then use the hook to grapple out, like Batman does in the actual videos. It makes this part so much easier because you can just bugger off out really quickly. But I'm really excited now because this is near the end of the video and there's only the penitentiary. The one left in Arkham East. Is it East or West? Arkham West. And then a little fight at the end, and we're finally finished with this part. And that means we can go on and fight the Joker. Ha <laughs> ha. I can't imagine many people are still listening to this because it, it's mind numbingly long, even I know that. But it's got to be done. Like, our Paul videos aren't usually this long either. But I think this is the longest video we've ever done. But it'll mean it's finally over for people. There's this episode left. I imagine at, at most the next part's going to be about 20 minutes long. And that's at like the uppermost because I don't remember the fights at the end of this game being that long. But this will be going up on the Monday. And the following one will be the Monday after that. Which will be the final part of this season of it. I think I might introduce a second season with the challenges for the game, but we'd have to hear what you feel about that. I just remember where these two are, it's the question mark at the end of the whole penitentiary so we've got to run right through it, right back and that will take about five minutes I suppose but we've got to like blow up a wall, go across it on the thing get the right angle, pick up a trophy and off out so I'm going to try and be in a qu as quick as possible with this as I can for some reason it's acting really laggy, why are you doing that? Yay! Door finally open there too. I don't like automatic doors in this game. They like to be difficult. I dare they are. I see them. I wasn't even sure I could run that way. But I can. It's okay. Anyone left to fight in here? Well, it doesn't sound like it anyway, so... All's quiet. Take it down. I don't see it taking five minutes considering I'm this close to it. Right. I think this turns off the gas. Yeah. There we go. Opens the fans and turns off the gas. That's for anyone who misses the Prometheus challenge down there. But question mark? Easy.
people only one more challenge left to do. See? They're all done. Just that one left. I don't remember getting that final um, Arkham tableau thing. But if you do, it, you see it's the warden. Quincy Sharp, the man who loves himself. Who sh we shall see again in Arkham City, but only for like two seconds. Which I think is a shame, since he turns out to be the mayor. It'd be more fun to expose him as an absolute bastard and destroy him, but alas, it was not to happen. I think we're about to see those guys as well that we shall be facing in a moment. See there's some of them. The rest are inside the freaky joker mouth there. All them guys. List only. Yeah I'm on it. Your name's not on the list, you ain't going in. Well I'm definitely on the list. But first of all, this trophy. Am I allowed to get it from there? I can't remember. Didn't... Let's take the wall down before we do anything. Yeah, I was definitely not going to get that angle. That's better. Right there. At the end of this, by the way, as well, with those guys. What? Yes, you finally it. got them all. You must have cheated. I did not cheat. No you, could have beaten me. you cannot say well, I cheated because you have no proof. My final challenge for the whole of Gotham is just seconds away. What? Sirens. The police. You cheated, Batman. How? You couldn't have outsmarted me. Hey, I thought they were going shots at first, but that's the loudest the knock ever. Now. Anyway, these guys outside the door here, you can make a choice. You either fight them or you don't. How did you work out where I was? Do you hear me? I, Edward Nigma. Well, thank God you finally showed up. Anyway, these guys, you can make a choice whether you want to fight them or not. Let's be honest, I really do. So they shall be destroyed. See, that gets me a 16. Imagine what getting all those guys in there will get me as a bonus. I think I could do it. Let's see. Yeah, there's well enough to get 40 here. Boom. Just gotta keep up with the counters. None of them are armed or have got any of those things going on with them. Ah, oh, the bastard! Okay? Can't believe he ruined it. Although it's more my fault I didn't press counter in time. See how close I can get with these guys. I'm going to get walloped pretty quickly. But anyway, this will be the end of the video. If you stuck it out this long, I really appreciate it and well done. It's an achievement. But. Anyway, if you liked it, give it a like and I'll see you next time when we face the Joker.